What's good, YouTube? It is Anthony Wittsell back at it with another video. And in today's video, we have the Holiday Air Jordan 11 in the Varsity Red or Cherry colorway, whichever one you want to call it. It's been going by two names recently, but I believe it would be the Varsity Red colorway. This shoe is it, guys. Jordan 11s. We usually have Jordan 11s around the holiday time with this pair coming and releasing December 10th for a retail of $225 for men's and $185 for grade school. A little bit higher price for a retail. Jordan 11s usually retail right around that higher price versus some other Jordans, but I think this shoe is definitely worth it. Super clean. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing everything you need to know about it before you pick up your pair, including how to cop it, where to cop it, quality, material, resale predictions, is it profitable, how much money you can make on it, much more, including in this video. So before I hop into the video, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And check me out on Instagram at Anthony Got Souls. I do a bunch of pre-orders for upcoming releases like this pair right here. I was lucky enough to pick up this size 10 and also an additional size 6 on the Sneakers live stream. They had like an episode talk about the um, like upcoming Jordans and everything. I was able to pick up this pair and then the other pair. So that's how I have this pair early for you guys to review. And then a bunch more pairs to come December 10th. Stock is pretty high on this pair, just like any other Jordan 11, right around the Christmas time. Stock is just crazy on 11s. I know there's like a bunch of like backdoor issues with people getting like early pairs with especially these. And then also the lost and found ones, which release tomorrow. Check out that video as well in the description, guys. Got a bunch of heat coming up, guys, on this channel. We got all these four shoes coming up this week. So lots of heat, guys. Post daily on this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and put those notes post notification on but back to the shoe lots of stock guys it's going to be a crazy release and if you try i feel like you give enough effort to enter your raffles and do much more which i'll discuss in the end you should be able to pick up at least one pair for retail so before hopping a video let's start off with a box get down to the box nothing too crazy for this jordan 11 box just your jordan and the air jordan and the red on top nice lid on the black lid and then gray box on the bottom going on to the size tag size 10 men's full family sizing guys this includes like toddler preschool grade school men's full sizing pretty much whatever for this release being a jordan 11 super clean guys i'm super excited to have this shoe in hand and just like kind of be right around that holiday season it's cool to see like all the new shoe releases i feel like we've had a ton of really good collaborations and just overall gr releases this year of 2022 but yeah guys this is it let me know in the comments copper or drop I feel like the cherry red really does a good job of standing out and just complements the shoe really well with the nice white additions and the nice translucent outer sole super clean with the carbon fiber it looks like a checkerboard super sweet guys I'm a, I'm a big fan of checkers pretty good at that game but um back onto the shoe guys you got nice patent leather in this nice red you see on the majority of the shoe on like the middle to the bottom even on the toe box nice patent leather patent leather is kind of, i feel like Patent leather has been a little bit more popular recently on like releases and we've just seen it more. It's just starting to become more common, I feel like. And I really do like patent leather. It does crease, but it does wear pretty well in general. Jordan 11s, you really want to keep these fresh. You don't want to like, I don't know, personally, I feel like they look a lot better, like fresh. Just keep, you know, carry shoes and do whatever you want. I'm not really like telling you guys what to do. But I'm just saying they look super clean, just like when they were like, you know, cleaned up, whatever. But um, yeah, guys, nice patent leather to the back, wrapping around to pretty much the right around the 360 of the shoe right there. Nice translucent, like this gum feel to the outer soles. Nice red with the Jumpman. And then again, that carbon fiber checkerboard. Nice Jumpman logo right here, complimenting on this nice white leather. You see on the back heel with the 23, nice mesh throughout the white and like right around here on top to the laces. Got nice white laces. No additional laces for this Jordan 11, unfortunately. I feel like the white laces really do a good job. I feel like if you put red laces in, it'll kind of look tacky and just kind of not it. The white really does a good job. And then with the compliments of the red, the I feel like the red, you see the red, you know, but um, it's not too much red and it really doesn't scream at you that much. So it kind of does a good job of just kind of like being there. Nice um, comfort and just durability. Super durable shoe, super strong, fits true to size, so get your normal size when you're picking up this pair. Super comfy after you break it in a few times. 
personally i don't really have a jordan 11 in my collection i've worn jordan 11s in the past but personally on my foot i really don't find it comfortable i don't know it's a little bit more of a narrower shoe and um i kind of like more space depending like um on the sneaker and everything super clean guys i would definitely rock it if they were a little bit more comfortable on me but super popular shoe super comfy to a lot of people you can wear it to like wherever event out and about it does not matter the shoe is going to be it and it's definitely going to be that kind of like attention grabber and just kind of like focal point you know when you're walking around you got these on like come on now but i agree super clean guys nice white midsole and then the outer soles again super icy the one thing about icy outer soles is they may yellow with time just sun and just being out there you know i know you can do like the salon care 40 or something you like you wrap it put in the sunlight and then they become like this nice minty color again that's if they're like super yellow it will take time for that being like a new release it's not going to happen like instantly and pretty much not a lot of people like even worry about it including myself it's the outer soles i mean if they get dirty they get dirty i always just try to keep the uppers clean with also being like a white shoe the white will also kind of get dirty a little bit you know just with wear or whatever and i'm um, just letting you know that onto the tongue and everything you got your air jordan right there with a little brand new right here white tongue wrapping around to the inside nice red coat kind of hard to see and then your size tag is is deep in there i'm not gonna get it but it's deep in there red insole with the white jump man your shoe tree inside and um this is considered kind of like a high top sneaker you got your low tops you know but this is definitely a high top sneaker personally i like the cherries the lows and the 11s just i feel like being a low top kind of person i like low tops better but this pair right here in the high tops is just so butter and so clean i'm a huge fan a lot of people are going to be going crazy about this pair right here but again guys true to size so pick up your normal size when you're purchasing this pair come december 10th stock again is going to be very high and since it being a gr which is a general release sneaker and release every store pretty much is going to have them a bunch of retailers, both in-store and online, will be releasing this pair for retail. Retail for men's is $225, and grade school retailing at $185. Again, they're a little bit higher, more of that premium price cost. That's before tax, and then after tax, it's even more. But retail right now, currently on StockX, for reference, pre-release, I think prices are going to stay right around this point, if not like kind of like dabble up and down a little bit. But ranging from men's right on at 280 to 320 depending on the size bigger sizes for this release will profit a little bit better than your smaller sizes on release day and just so forth and so on after the release pre-release i feel like a lot of people hit on nike sneakers and then once they get those pairs in prices will tank a little bit but i think prices will go back up on release day when people like take the l and just not get their pair then end up having to pay resale and i feel like prices on average will be right around that 300 price point um i think that's a pretty fair estimate for pretty much all sizes i would aim to buy 8 to 13 even bigger the better like personally i'm aiming to get like 10 and up but pretty much every size is profitable if you're trying to go from that standpoint and try to make profit on this release you know get your own size and then profit do whatever you guys want to do not holding you back on anything Looking at grade school, right now prices right around a little bit lower since the retail is kind of higher on a grade school at 185. I feel like that's a little bit high and doing too much, but prices range from about 220 to 250, depending on the size. And I feel like prices will aim to be right around that 220 to 230 uh, come like release date and so forth and so on. Again, more profit to be made in the men's sizes and then toddler and then infant, really not like profitable at all. Just personal, pick it up for your kids and whatnot. I think grade school five to seven primarily focus on those sizes to flip and then men's eight to 13 will be the best and then 10 to like whatever 10 to 13 14 15 those sizes will flip for the best and personally i have clientele for like 10 and a half and like up a little bit better for me versus the size like 10 and below it's a little bit harder to move those pairs for my clientele but if you do need a size hit me up guys prior to release day be having a lot of this pair right here five to pretty much whatever most retailers in store get size 13 and under and then on lines 14 15 16 i think this pair goes up to 18 at least on nike sneakers so all sizes pretty much for those release unless you have like a bigger foot than that i sure hope not because you will not be able to pick up this pair but pretty much 
all sizes will be available. You know the deal for that, guys. I'm super excited about the holiday. We had, what was it, last year? It was like the Cool Grays, and then I remember the Jubilee release, and then I don't even know. But Cool Grays was super sweet, and I feel like this pair right here, it's just a really good shoe that pops, and I feel like a lot of people kind of like that idea with a nice red. Personally, red isn't like my color, but I think it looks super sharp since it's not like a full red shoe, but it has this nice white complements. And um, yeah, I mean, you, you actually see more white, I feel like, than red, but the red is what you see when you're looking at this shoe from afar. So yeah, that's the deal for that, guys. Foot Lockers, your FLX, your Champs, your Finish Lines, JD Sports, Kids Foot Locker, Foot Action, all those retailers, especially FLX, you have the best chances on, at least personally. I find the best look on like um, FLX and then also JD Sports in-store and online pre-orders. Then you have your, your Snipes, your DTLR, your Jimmy Jazz, all those in-person in-store raffles or online. Make sure to enter those for all sizing. Pretty good chances on that guys. In-store should have quite a bit of stock and then online as well. I know Nike sneakers will be the best highly to like, you know, best chances at least. Stock is going to be crazy on Nike sneakers. I know without a doubt in my mind. Stock is going to be high on Nike sneakers. Best chances will be there. Try to make multiple accounts, multiple addresses, multiple payments. That's why I always say to people, because it does work if you like, if you're not under the, the same IP, usually like link it to your friend's house, your, your grandparents, your family, all those. Make sure you have different cards though, so you don't kind of get like blocked or anything or just kind of like flagged overall for your account. So recommend doing that guys. Hope you guys all caught for this pair right here. Super beautiful shoe with the Jordan 11 Varsity Red, Cherry, whatever you want to call it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching until the end. If you did, please check me out on Instagram at Anything Got Souls and let me know if you need a size in this pair right here. And also, this size 10 is for sale. So hit me up, guys, for there. Will not sit long. Thank you all so much, and I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.